Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Nox RPG. Now, I was browsing the mod DB page for Mountain Blade Warband and I came across this and it looks like the spiritual successor to Light and Darkness. And for those of you that have been on my channel long enough, you will know that Light and Darkness is possibly my favorite mod of all time. So, as you can obviously tell, I am very, very excited about playing this and I'd like to see what it's all about. I have not tried this out at all. This is completely sort of first impressions here. And if you would also like to download this mod, then the link is in the description as always. Anyway, before beginning the game, yes, we must create our character, and there are many different factions, new factions. There are devil worshippers, there are descendants, uh, descendants of the Roman Empire, and everything. It's absolutely fantastic. So, we're just going to probably take the easiest start. Usually, that's what we do in special features, and who knows, we th this may become a full series. It depends on, you know, whether there are any crashes or anything like that. I know that Light and Darkness had many, many different systems in place and sometimes those systems would kind of conflict a little bit but for the most part it was a stable mod so hopefully this borrows a little bit from that as well as you also see though it seems like the choices that we have are a little bit less than before so i suppose we're gonna see if there's anything a little bit different here i'm gonna take personal revenge because i'd like a little bit more strength we do have the opportunity to choose a banner doesn't seem to be anything too new here but that's okay i don't really mind about that we're gonna take the purple bear thank you very much and i'm gonna just be calling myself what am i gonna be calling myself what who did who, who did i play in light and darkness oh no i can't remember ah that's annoying isn't it all right, so I went all the way back and I took a look at my videos and apparently the fellow that we took through on Light and Darkness originally was called Billy Bearthild. And so <laughs> we're going to bring him back. We're going to bring him back for this particular special feature. And, well, what do we have here? We have three riding skill, a little bit of power strike. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we're just going to go for combat skills here. Don't really... Do I need... Ah, oh, I kind of do need intelligence, don't I? I'm just going to go for nine intelligence, actually, because I'd like to get pathfinding. Personally, feel like pathfinding is very useful. And uh, we're going to go for a little bit in Iron Flesh as well. A little bit in Athletics. Maybe we want to go for a little bit in Prisoner Management as well. And what else do we want? Uh, do we want to just be really, really good in combat? I suppose. So maybe shield as well now. We'll just go for more iron flesh and then another point in athletics. We do have riding skill already. We actually have one in horse archery, which is probably not really going to help us out too much. But well, it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose, because you never know. We might be using something. All right. So let's do this. Let's randomize. And there you go. There's Billy Beartilled. <laughs> it seems, seems very accurate, actually. He's just a little bit older. Ready to be unified, a monstrous metaphysical cataclysm affecting only men has hit Calradia. Emerged from nowhere, strange kingdoms are at war in a land torn apart again, now known as Nox. You have a role to play, and your destiny and your choices will lead you to great adventures. At the end, the wealth, the power, or death. Choose a place to start the adventure. Alright, so as far as I'm aware, the... Romanum, the Romanum are the descendants of Romans, the Necroma are the devil worshippers, these are the descendants of ancient Greece, I, oh, I can't remember, I can't remember these guys, but yes, otherwise, these are all sort of standard sort of medieval things, anyway, I think we're actually thinking maybe that we're going to start in the devil worshipper place, I think that could be pretty fun, so we're going to start there, here we are unarmed and we don't have any helmet. Oh well, this is well, this is not very good, is it? Oh my. Green man. Right. Okay, well, I think actually I hmm I might just do something really quick with the options. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we are now going to be speaking to the green man. Rawr, I understand. I apparently do. I apparently do understand. Uh, there's a chest over there as well. We, we probably want to be going over there and seeing what's going on. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. 
Billy Bear's Hood, I'm Arway Deus, or Deuce, or whatever, the master of this place. If you thought to do what you want here, not completely, what do you think? Ha! Ah. <laughs> ah, yes, okay, so... Uh, I give you an advice before speaking to me again. You should go around my lair thoroughly. Use the key F to any indicated action. For example, on a corpse, on a rock, or any other things. It's you who see. Good luck. Right. Okay. It seems to share many similarities with light and darkness in the dialogue, shall we say. And I, I gotta say that I'm actually really intrigued to see where we go first, because this is a story-based role-playing RPG mod with a main quest, three chapters, and many side quests and things like that. And we seem to be gaining a couple of items here. A miner's pick, we have a torch, a staff, we have a treasure map as well as some food, which is quite nice. I already have a sword and a hunting bow. I personally feel like the hunting bow is not really going to come in handy that much, is it? But obviously I can't equip anything. I can't equip any of those weapons at the moment. And I can talk to these people, but obviously it doesn't seem to do anything. I can speak to this as well. No. Arr, I understand. I'll leave you in peace and so on. Yeah, it seems like there it doesn't seem to be anything else I can do here. Maybe? No, can't interact with that, of course. So if we go down here, nope, can't interact with that either. Okay, so I think that was what we were meant to find, I assume. And that means that I can just speak to Awe or Ave or whatever his name may be. And then we can move on from this place. Yes, there we go. Yeah, on a corpse and a rock or any other things. Yeah, okay. I, well, I did that. I, I, do I need to go over here to this to this bookshelf or something or maybe there's a secret passage or something that I need to find maybe that's the case ah I see okay so right you have to press F without getting any indicator and I kind of thought that there might be something going on with that because he said no indication so I, w I would expect that the language barrier there is, you know, impeding our progress a little bit, but that's okay. We've now found something. I recover a beautiful purse with 400 dinars and a beautiful book, The Invincible. I will read it during camp. The poor guy must be long dead. I'm sure it's sure he is now invincible. Hmm. You might want to leave this place, but here you can't do as you want. Or you might want to leave places. But you can't do as you want. Alright, okay, so I can... I, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna spam F then, I suppose. I, I, can I, can I interact with that? No. There was no indicator that I could interact. Ah, hello. Silver nugget. Okay, so I just got a silver nugget and I lost. Right, look at that. There's a, a passage too narrow for a human. So, okay, I lost the mining pick from the chest, but I gained a silver nugget. Okay. So I think that will probably be it. I think that's all we needed to do. I hope, at the very least, and now hopefully he will give us something else to do. Ah, well now the presentations are made. You've probably walked around my lair. Good things, is it not? There is everything, there are, well there's everything here. To eat, to drink, to study, you can stay here as long as you want. I'm sure you're a pleasant company. However you think, it's time for you to start the adventure, you can tell me. I am quite ready, but what is this magnificent book on the altar? <laughs> I still have a bit. I love you. <laughs> okay. The runic book, a power source. Uh, the last thing before I send you to the Noxor lands. I lost my dagger, but I do not know where. As I care greatly for it, you need to recover for it. You need to recover it, even. It's an imperative mission to return to see me go through the Cave of Oblivion. If you say so... Right, after the meeting with Awe, you don't have the cho you don't have any choice. It's here that your adventure begins. All right. Okay, so we are on the same map as Calradia, which is relatively similar to Light and Darkness because they used the old original Mountain Blade map. So that's well, that, that's absolutely fine actually because there are so many quests in this mod, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, there's tens 
of hours, actually. Tens of hours to complete the game, so I, I, I would assume, you know, 20 or 30, perhaps. And I, I think that's relatively similar to Light and Darkness as well. And I'm very happy with that, because personally, I, I really liked it. I really liked Light and Darkness, because it had such a really nice atmosphere about it and hopefully this is also going to have a similar thing i'm hungry help me some bread please i understand i'll help you all right so help him so i i would assume yes clue some bread oh it's really nice how they give you a clue as well because i do realize that in light and darkness they did not give you any clues whatsoever so you had to try and figure everything out yourself very difficult very very difficult to do you can sell this silver nugget but i have a feeling that it might be used for something so I'm probably just going to, you know, be a little bit cautious with what I sell. Ah, my friend, I give you bread and 250 dinars. Do I want to give him... Whoa, okay. Let's do it then. Okay, so we gain honor, we gain renown, and we've improved our relation with him by a huge amount. If you need anything, request me at any time. And we have improved our level. No, another time. Aha. Okay, so we're going to need him later. I can assume that he probably has something for us later. Hmm. Particularly troublesome bandits. I will hunt down those bandits. I will try to hunt down the bandits, but it's unlikely... I don't know. It's unlikely whether I'll do it or not, because we have so many other quests to complete that maybe it would be a waste of our time. Anyway, as you can see, there's actually a library here. And we can speak to the lector. Yes. Or, or not the lector, but speak to lector, yes. The list of available books is in front of you. Make your choice. This list is a true wealth of knowledge. Have you made your choice? There is a book with an asterisk. What does that mean? Unfortunately, the book was stolen. This book was highly demanded because it contains extensive information about the past. Prince Noxo himself wrote this book. Our library was proud to have the original. There are copies? There is at least one copy, unfinished, missing the most interesting parts. The Lathana Library has this copy. The librarian is very interested in art, but he has a real... Filu. I, I, I have no idea. Maybe he knows more than he says. Regarding of our robber, no idea, but a large reward is offered to find the book. I will find your book. So I count on you for our library. So, uh, so we can once again offer to read the book of Prince Noxor. Yes, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make the best of the, the dialogue at the moment. Now, here's a, a Biblor. I'm Biblor, the Master of Archives. Ah, okay. I need to know more about Prince Noxor. What? Ah, he disappeared? Oh, no, no. The book disappeared, yes. But you, what do you know about Prince Noxor? He was a strange character. I read the book mysteriously. I... I uh, really? I read the book mysteriously disappeared. Okay. I read the book that mysteriously disappeared, many interesting things inside it, especially a chapter about existence of runes. It's written he had the runic book. Sure, the library of Sanctua has information about the runic book. I'll be very great. Okay, if it's so important to you, I'll find it. We gain some honor and everything. Hopefully these have no time limit. No, they have no time limit, so that's absolutely fine. Very, very good for me. And there's a, there's a bed and everything. And okay, so there's two quests from that. Very nice. Okay, so we could go into the castle. I don't know whether we can speak to the Lord. Maybe we'll be able to get a quest from... Oh, King! The King himself! Hello! Oh, okay, yes. No, he doesn't seem to have anything for us. Yeah, I was just I was just being cheeky there. Vassalage! No, we're not getting vassalage just yet. I thought I might be able to steal some stuff. Uh, no, definitely not. Okay, so there is a hut path over here. There are some troublesome bandits. Obviously, we have no people right now. We have no people right now, so we're obviously going to have to go to villages and recruit a couple of things. Two knocks and recruits. Going to be quite interested to see what they level up into or whether they are relatively similar to the same troop trees from native. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I am not entirely sure. Uh, it seems like they may share a little bit of similarity with the Rodox at the moment. And I'm a bit worried about the fact that I didn't have enough army to actually tackle the troublesome bandits, because obviously that's quite annoying. Ah, uh, yes, it seems like we may have some trouble recruiting as well. 
All right, so thankfully, it seems as though the troublesome bandits were just sort of hanging around, so I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to be charging in. I did manage to recruit a couple of Anoxan units here. And hopefully we're going to have a good old fun time taking on these bandits. A little bit worried, actually, because I think the bandits probably have better gear than the recruits. But I guess we're just going to have to take our shot and hope that we're able to win out here. Obviously, they have bows. They have bows. This is not good for me. Thankfully, our recruits are overwhelming them in sheer numbers. We are losing a couple, but that is to be expected, obviously. And I, I am actually out of money, by the way, right now. I'm out of money because I have literally recruited as many people as I could. So hopefully we're not going to regret that. Stab him. Ah, I was hoping to stab him. Please don't die. Come on, Billy. Survive. You can survive. You can do this. Yes, c come on. Can you, can you just kill some? Could you actually kill? Yeah, there we go. There we go. De dealing a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Wow, the sword is really, really fast. I'm, I must be used to other weapons that are a little bit slower. I mean, we've just started playing, and it, it already seems, well, quite quick, the uh, the melee speed, which I quite like. There you go. That was easy. <laughs> that was very easy. Hopefully, that will be it, I think. Yeah, I hope. Anyway, we do get a chance to take a couple of extra things. Yeah, the sword is actually pretty nice. We're going to exchange it for the Falchion, though. I personally feel like the Falchion is a little... Is it a little bit better? Hmm, I don't know, actually. We'll just We'll just keep using the same thing. And ah, we do have a better shield, ah, yes. That's what I like to see. Okay, we're, we're going to be taking most of these things because we need the money. Okay, so we are back in Noxor right now. And obviously the scenes are relatively similar to the native. But obviously the main draw of this mod is the overwhelming RPG feel. You know, because you do have quests to complete and all that sort of thing. But... Thankfully, we've completed the Troublesome Bandits quest. I actually hoped that he would give me a little bit more. Mm, really, delivering wine. You're going to give me 300. Wow, 300 for that. All right. Fine. Let's do it. Why not? 300 to Poi or whatever, wherever that is. Oh, my. Okay, so, yeah. Obviously, we do have to do a couple of other things along the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the hut path, the hunter path, the totem path, the pyramid path, and the cube path along the way to Poi. And hopefully it's going to, you know, it's going to reveal itself to be a wonderful place to be. Okay, so, wow. Right. What do I do here? That's the thing, I... Uh, I have no idea. Hello. Welcome to my hut. Ah, yes, this is true, but the trade is not what it once was. Since the rebels and skeletons have invaded the fortress, I am still waiting for a renowned man to be able to fight these skeletons. I, I, I will fight the skeletons. I advise you to require more renown before doing this. Aha, okay, so you cannot quit this way. Oh, no. Oh no. Okay, so apparently I have to get to the edge of the map or something along those lines. Very, very light and darkness-esque, isn't it? Uh. Ah, I see. Okay, so we seem to have come across a chest where I have found a ruby crystal, a book indication 3, which I assume is a hint as to where we can find the missing books, perhaps. And we also are here. We are in the Hunter's Path at the moment. Yes, the Hunter's Path. So it appears as though when you go into these neutral areas and things, you have a greater chance of maybe acquiring a clue as to where you need to go. So let's, let's actually just see here. Clue, Library of Sanctua. Yes, okay, we need to go there. And the Library of Lathana. Okay, so... Let's... Oh, I was very much hoping I could exit like that. Oh, yeah. By the way, I got my horse stuck. There it is. Yeah. I'm going to need to go all the way over there and exit that way. All right. All right. So, yeah. To cut a long story short, what actually happened was because I jumped over the wall into that small encampment there 
and looted the chest without actually following the proper procedure. And the proper procedure was actually to look for a key in the surrounding area and to open the gate. And when I went to go and exit, I obviously couldn't do that because the gate was closed and I couldn't get the key. Now I know what you're thinking, well why don't you get on top of the tower and jump off and try and get, you know, over the wall that way? I tried. And unfortunately, there was an invisible wall. Yes, there was an invisible wall outside of the windows of the tower, so you couldn't actually jump out of the tower. So, in the end, I had to alt F4 and get out of there. So, yeah, it's probably a good idea to follow what the game actually wants you to do, rather than trying to jump over the wall initially. Anyway, I just thought I would show you that the tournaments are basically the same as native, so if you're looking for some quick cash, then obviously this is a nice way to go about it. And, you know, it, it's it's pretty easy. You know, it's pretty easy to, to get some nice, some nice money here if I don't actually get killed. Obviously, I'm pretty low level. I haven't actually leveled myself up at all. So, that might be a problem, considering I think this is actually Dranton. Is this Dranton? You're very annoying if it is. Yeah, I've been fighting Dranton quite often, and he's very, very... Uh, you, you know, you know how he is. Oh, it's Kratos. Oh, yeah, it's Dranton or Kratos is one of those. They're usually extremely annoying. Anyway, there you go. There's level four. We've gained a little bit more money. And even though it's not particularly necessary for us right now, is it? No, it's not particularly necessary. So what we can do now is we can go into the hunter's path and I can actually try and find that key. Oh, yeah, I had to go through the entirety of what we had already done, by the way, because I only I had only saved once after exiting the, the the town so at least I didn't have to go through the prologue again but I had to go through basically everything else so yeah that was kind of annoying had to go through the troublesome bandit quest and so on and so forth and then when I went to go and get the wine quest the wine was not available they actually gave me a cattle quest instead and obviously I'm just like oh, screw that I'm not gonna do that thank you very much anyway let's hope that I'll be able to find the key to this gate and then we might be able to, you know, pillage the chest once again. I won't show the pillaging of the set of said chest because obviously we've already seen that. But I'd like to try and find the key. I can assume the key is in this house. I mean, where else would it be, right? I mean, it, w it must be here. I'm going to assume it's probably going to be in, in the grain. No, it's not going to be in the grain. What about in here? No, it's not going to be in here. Okay, I I'm, I'm intrigued. Because, ah, there might, ah, there might be something up there, maybe. There seems to, uh, the door seems to be slightly open. No? No? Uh, okay, well, it seems like I will have to do a little bit of searching, but I'm not entirely sure where I need to search. Maybe in this small shack here. It looks like this is a farm, obviously, so, you know, maybe... This is the farmer's... Aha! Hello, yes. You're probably going to give me... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is... Th this is the hunter's... The hunter's hut? This... Yeah, this is the hunter's hut. This is exactly where I went before, but why is this guy here again? Why is he here? I have no idea. He, well, okay. Anyway, I'm going to go up here and see whether there is, in fact, a key... Maybe we can find a key lying on the ground or something along those lines. I mean, it would be kind of nice. Okay, apparently not. So, apparently me jumping over the wall there allowed us to see a little bit of what is actually available. But unfortunately, it seems like I'm going to be unable to find, you know, the key that is required to get in. So that's a bit of a shame, but... Ah, well, as I say, at least we did get a small look at what was going on there. A ruby. There was a ruby available there, so I can assume the ruby is obviously going to be something pretty useful for us. This is how you leave, by the way. You go to the signpost, and then you just press F, and then you can leave, as you can see. Okay, so I was not at the hut path. I was not at the hut path, but apparently the hunter path and the hut path lead to each other. So if you want to go and avoid enemies, or, some, or just in general, just to avoid any kind of encounters, then you could quite easily do that by going through the paths, the various paths that they have here. So I suppose it would be a good idea to 
maybe just go into the totem path and see what's going on there. Because I assume it's probably going to lead into the hunter's path again. Okay, so as you can see, we have a variety of different signposts here. So I could go to Mortifer or Clutisha. Okay, well, I think we're going to go to Mortifer right now. And we're going to see... Look at that. So that's that's actually really quite cool if you think about it. Like, if you are really, really low in HP and you don't want to fight anything and you need to get back to your home, then obviously this is maybe the best way to go about it. I'm obviously trying to find some quests still. Obviously, we do have two quests. And don't worry, we're going to get onto those shortly. I just like to explore a little bit, obviously, because... While this is a special feature, this is the first time I'm checking out the mod myself, and I'd very much like to find out everything that I can about it. Can't go in there. Aha! So there you are. We have now exited the totem path, and we're now in the skeleton path. Alright, so we're pretty close to Sanctua, so I suppose it would be a pretty nice idea for us to go over there and see what's going on. Now, I'm not entirely sure if... Uh, there is, by the way, no troop tree. So I'm not entirely sure if the various units from the Devil Worshipper uh, faction are unique in any respect. I think maybe they might be. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, as you can see, these Noxons here, they go into Skirmishers and Footmen. Very similar to how Swadians upgrade. So maybe the Troop Trees are just taken from Native and they're just renamed or something along those lines, which would be a bit of a shame. But, well, you know, they, they, the mod creator is focusing much more on the RPG aspect, and obviously adding a library in here is very nice in itself. And that is the library, and there we go. Ah, oh, the door. Ah, oh, of course the door's locked. It's, it's late at night. Why am I going late at night? Ah, terrible. Okay, well, it's bound to be open by, by noon, surely. There we go. Okay, this should be a little bit easier for us to get inside. And then we can see what's going on there with the book. Uh, ah, Diabol- No, no, never mind. Okay, yes, they do actually have reskins. Never mind. They do actually have reskins, as you can see. Diabolic Warriors. Never mind. So, yeah. I was- And here I was thinking that, you know, they were just regular- Regular units. No, no, they're not. They are very much reskinned, which is really quite nice. Not entirely sure about their stats or anything like that, or their advanced units, but I suppose we're going to find that out too. Let's just go and speak to Vezelbut. Hello, Vezelbut. Velzebut, should I say. Yes, the choice is immense. Have you made your choice? I choose the Runic book. This book is not in the list. In fact, I'd like to talk about the Runic book. Few people are aware. I assume you spoke with Biblor, the Master of Archives. Before I speak to you about this book, I, w I offer you a service, or I want your service. My scrolls were stolen by a Roman mercenary, certainly on behalf of a noble sponsor. These scrolls are very valuable to me. I heard that scrolls would be in possession of an ancient courtesan of the Kingdom of Romanova. She is living in an inn of another kingdom. I ask you to get my scroll by any means. I can't go personally, it would be suicide. Okay, we're getting some honor, we're getting some relation with him. Bring quickly these scrolls. Okay, yes, I will try to do that. Yes, very much so. Okay, so where do we have to go now? So the runic book. Velzebut quest. Scrolls. Former courtesan, perhaps another clue by going to see... Aha! By going to see the guy that we gave some money to and all that sort of thing. So I suppose we're going to do that. But what I'd like to check out is some of the advanced units. So I'm going to be leveling some of these up with unscrupulous means. Cheating, obviously. And we're going to see what they turn into. Alright, so as you can see here, we've cheated through our teeth right here. And, well, it seems as though they do have a very striking similarity to Swadian Knights. These Noxon Knights, that is. And, of course, we do have Noxon Champions here as well, which I would assume are technically Swadian Sergeants or something along those lines. Perhaps they seem to have relatively similar stats to those units. So that's a little bit of a shame, but I feel like the small changes in the Diabolic faction is actually pretty cool because I don't think... 
Rodox have cavalry? Do they have? Do they actually have cavalry? As far as I'm aware, they don't. So this is this is quite cool to see that they actually gave them cavalry. So that's pretty cool. They also have elite crossbowmen, of course. And there's only two lines of upgrade. They go straight into captains, and the archers go straight into crossbowmen. Whereas there are two separate troop upgrade lines for the infantry from the Noxans. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, what we're going to do is we are now going to go to... Uh, where is it now? Scroll. Uh, yes, yeah, go and see the Bucanier who is in Noxor. So we're going to go and see him. And then we will hopefully have an idea as to where the scrolls are. There we go. Let's go in there. And he's going to be waiting in the streets, of course. And I'm, I'm actually quite intrigued to see what happens so far. And I suppose if you have completed Light and Darkness and you're looking for something else that is very much RPG-esque, then this is certainly something you probably want to go with. Anyway, do you know a former Romanova courtesan living in Knox? This is surely Narcissa who lives at the tavern in Beaumont. She has an irresistible attraction for big elm roads. Oh... Right. Punch. Yep. Gonna punch. Gonna punch randomly. Alright, so. Go see Narcissa with a big emerald. Okay. Where do I... Where do I get a big emerald from? That's the thing. I can assume... Hmm. Where could I... Where can I get it from? Let's have a look here. What is that? That's a sea cemetery. It's most likely gonna be a mine of some sort. So maybe I could try and find... A mine, there's Shemania and an arch path as well, the cube path, the pyramid path. Alright, there's a lot of paths. Ah, gems. The Geminum? The Geminum, that must be the place, right? There's an old Colosseum down there as well. There, oh wow, and the, oh, the green cave, the green cave might have emeralds. I think it probably would, but let's go down to the Geminum first, because I can assume that there's probably going to be some gems there. And maybe we can find something in regards to the big emerald. I mean, you've got to do a little bit of thinking when it comes to these RPG mods. And I quite like that because Light and Darkness, obviously, they didn't tell you anything. Whereas in this, they do give you some clues. So if you were a little bit frustrated by the sort of hardcore-ish nature to Light and Darkness, then this is a little bit, little bit easier to understand. But you still have to do a little bit of guesswork every now and again. Ah, no weapons, no helm. Right. Hello. Okay. Y yes. Okay, I I'm going to go and see the mistress then, apparently. I, I have come at a pretty bad time, haven't I? Right, what do you want? Nothing yet. Okay. No, yeah, I, ha I have come at a pretty bad time. Let's, let's just exit and just wait until the daytime, because I can assume that she's probably going to be there in the daytime, right? Because it seems like we always have bad timing when it comes to this sort of thing. It's pretty cool how they actually made a bath here as well. Diamantia, or Diamanta. The leader of the Guild of the Gem. Happy to see you. What, a, what is the activity for this guild? Our guild brings together all trades for the precious stones. Here in Geminum, we have the exclusivity to carve precious stones for all the kingdoms. And if I want to carve a gem, there are only two ways to deal with us. Either you only want to buy and sell precious stones with the rate set by the guild. This is done only with our representatives, the shops of precious stones of Romanum and Massilia. Or either you decide to become an honorary member. Here we trade only with guild, members of the guild. Then you will be able to carve gems, obtain and sell precious stones with exceptional conditions. There is just a small challenge to do. By curio- Ah, here we go. By curiosity, do you sell an emerald? 2,700 dinars for an emerald, 3,780 for the big one. Right. Okay, I want to become an honorary member. Bring me just three large gems. One for emerald, one for ruby, and one for sapphire. Oh no, I want to trade though. To do this, go to Romanum or Massilia. Oh, really? Really? Okay, so... Well... Roman, Romanum. Ah, there. Over there. Okay, so they only trade with those factions then, by the looks of things. So Massilia is all the way up there, so that's going to be absolutely out of the question. So Romanum is going to be the place where we will have to find 
a big emerald. Now, of course, if we want to join the gem society, as it were, then obviously we need to bring her a ruby and sapphire and all other manner of things. But at the moment, I don't think I want to do that. I'd like to just try and find the big emerald. So I, hmm, I think I may have to take a walk around the streets. There probably is going to be a geminum sort of area here, perhaps. Ah, here we are. We have found it. Or... No. Okay. No. Why? Why is it locked? Why is it locked? I have no idea why. Oh, no. I really thought that we'd found it for a second there. Ah, uh, door to the shop. Ah. Is this just the marketplace? Okay, so I'm a bit of an idiot. And uh, yeah, so that that's kind of that's kind of what I've come to the conclusion of at the moment. And yeah, it's actually a good idea, maybe, to look at the clue of the quest. Yes, visit the caves, and there's a green cave right here. We're most likely going to be getting an emerald from it. There's also a blue cave over there for a sapphire, I would assume. And then where's the other cave? It's probably going to be up here somewhere. Red cave, I would assume. Red cave, where's that? I don't know. I can't see it right now, but if you've seen it, then good on you because I can't see it. But it's it's most likely somewhere around here. I don't know where, but yes. Various caves would probably make a good deal of sense in terms of finding gems. So we're going to go into the green cave and try and find an emerald. Do I need... A mining pick for this. Before we head back to the green cave, however, I have three mining picks now, by the way. I thought I'd just let you know that there's actually a way to hire, well, mercenaries, farmers, bandits, adventurers, and all that sort of thing here. So we're going to ask, and we can hire, let us, shall, we, shall we hire some knights? Let's hire some knights. So as you can see here, what you can do is you can basically skip leveling, and instead you can get them for 300 dinars each. This is actually a lot easier, as far as I'm aware. So let's let's get some Roman knights, shall we? 350 each, that's 3,500. Uh, let's, get, let's get five. Wow. That easy? 1,750? Wow, that's... That's actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's get some... 30 dinars for each swordsman? Wow, basically, okay. I'm... Okay, okay, okay. So, how does this actually work? Because you're getting extremely good units, as you can see here. Roman knights and decurions and all that sort of thing. You're getting all these amazing units for a very cheap price. And you don't have to level them up. So, it seems like the best way to go about things would probably be to start off do a tournament. Because obviously they're native, so, you know, you know pretty, easy to, pretty easy to win there. Maybe fight a couple of bandits, and then go to one of these towns, any town by the way, hire some troops, get some knights, you know, you can get, some, you can get 10 knights for 3,500, and you can get 4,000 from a win at a tournament. So that seems like a very, very lucrative way of doing things. I'm going to wait until the morning because that seems to have better consequences for us. I'm going to go into the green cave. Please give me a big gem of emeralds, because I'm going to be pretty irritated if it's not a big gem. Okay, I got a, a, got a regular emerald crystal here. Right. Can I... Hmm. Passing too narrow for a human. That, that, that intrigues me. That intrigues me, because I think to myself, there must be something that I can do to sort of access that area, perhaps. Okay, so I'm just going to continue walking along here and see if there's anything here. Oh yeah, by the way, you can, I think, equip the torch. Equip the torch that you get you got at the, the very beginning, and that will then give you some extra light in here. I'm not entirely sure if that is indeed the case. I haven't te tested it out, actually, but I suppose it would be a good idea to do so. I'd just like to see if there's anything else in the depths of this cave. There's probably going to be some enemy here that will kill me instantly or something. Maybe? Oh no, there is a torch though, which is which is, I, I guess, quite nice to see. Can I press F on these things and 
No, it doesn't seem like it. Is there anything else? No. Doesn't seem like there's any... Oh, no, there might be. There might be. There's a little bit of a secret passageway here. Aha! Crystallus or Crystallus. Ah, way, sir. Glad to see someone in this rat hole. Okay. Temporary minor, and if I saw this woman in front of me at your place, I think I'd pierce her chest. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm talking about Diamanta, the mistress of the Guild of Gem. She may be beautiful and mesmerizing. Uh, this is anyway a real cowhide. Okay, I have no idea what that means. She gave me a crazy challenge. Nothing to do other than succeed if I want to live with my work. I met the ravishing Diamanta. And you've got a challenge? No matter what is your challenge. After leaving the army, I converted to the extraction of gems. But imagine that if you want to carve gems into precious stones, you must go to Geminum and see this bitch Diamanta to become an honorary member of the guild. What is your challenge? I have to bring 36 gems. Six small, six large for each of the three types found on these lands. Emeralds, rubies, and sapphires. Several weeks. What? Oh, that is crazy. I would not be at your place. I, yeah, I, I do not know if I can help you. Get what? I missed three big gems of emerald. That's why I'm still here. Yes, I'll help you. Am I really? I'll be... Uh, no, I no, I don't want to. I, I literally do not want to. Not yet, but soon. Did I give him my only crystal? My only emerald crystal? Oh, I have got to go to the exit, don't I? Uh, did I give him my only emerald crystal? That would be absolutely awful if I did. I really don't want to, to be honest. Oh, wow. That guy has really been through hell, though. I am... I feel a bit sorry for him, to be honest. Well, what I've done is I have traveled all the way up to Massilia, because it seems as though Romanum will not allow me into their gem store for whatever reason. Maybe they only allow me to go in when it's nighttime or something? I don't know. I didn't try waiting until nighttime, but maybe that's it. I don't know. But... I have some emerald crystals, and I'd love to be able to transform them into gems. But it seems like I will... I don't... I, that's the thing. I don't ex exactly know how to do that. Shall we just take a look at this? Visit the caves. Green cave. Yeah. Okay. Cave of Oblivion. Go, go see Narcissa with a big emerald. Well, I don't have a big emerald right now. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to look for a gem cutter of some sort, and you would expect that Diamanta would be one. Aha, there we go. There's the, the store. Aha, okay, so we can go into this one. Right. Okay. There are only two ways to deal with me. You're an honorary member of the Guild of Gem or not. If you're not an honorary member, you can only buy and sell precious stones. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not an honorary member, what I, blah, blah, blah. okay, I would like to buy a precious stone. Yes, I'd like to buy a big emerald. There you go, okay. Phew! <laughs> really? So they didn't allow me into the one in Romanum, so I had to come all the way up here. Wow, that's very annoying, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. At least I have one now. I could sell a precious stone, but no. Seems like I just have crystals. I'm not entirely sure what to do with the crystals. Okay, so we have finally arrived at the tavern in Beaumont. She lives here, apparently. So we will then be able to speak to her, give her the emerald, and then hopefully that will progress the quest a little bit. As you can see, very RPG-esque. You need to get this, you need to get that, and then you need to speak to this person. So let's hope that she's around here somewhere. There she is, Narcissa. If you are not rich and noble, go your way. <laughs> no, poor beggar, disappear from my sight. What? Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was a little bit worried there. I thought to myself, no, you can't do this. I have a very lucrative proposition for you. Very lucrative? Tell me. You have something that interests me. Scrolls stolen. In exchange, I offer you a priceless emerald. Show me that. Indeed, this is a big, beautiful diamond. Oh, diamond? Oh, no, it's not a diamond. It's an emerald. And I'm an expert. It's for you against the scrolls, yes. Only on one condition. You're cute. We first make a bit of fun and you cannot say no. So be it. Okay. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here are the scrolls and these two things clutter. Okay, so basically, she said, You're an absolutely terrible person. Go away. And then we're just like, Oh, yes. Uh, let's go to bed. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, we make a bit of fun? Not now. See you soon. What? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, so we gained some renown from that and everything. Okay, so let's go to recent messages real quick here. Now, let's have a look. We got a Velzibut Scroll, Calradia Deluxe Volume 1, and Ancient Rome. Ancient Rome, Calradia Deluxe Volume 1, and Velzibut Scroll. Okay, so if I go over here... Okay, I can only read treasure maps. Shall we read the treasure maps? Let's read the treasure maps and see what's going on with them. But now, at least, I can go to the Library of Sanctua and complete that quest. And our party has nothing to eat. Of course they don't. Of course. That's fine. That's absolutely okay. Because by the time we get there, we'll be able to buy some food and it'll be all fine and dandy once again. Look at how much food they have. It's absolutely insane. All right. So, we have emerald crystals and silver nuggets and all kinds of things. I don't even know what they do. But let's go into the streets. Thankfully, I was able to do that. Literally, that took... Oh, I think that took a little bit too long for my liking to be able to do that. I mean, I don't know why the shop in Romanum doesn't work. But maybe that was just my bad luck, perhaps. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, where's the library? Ah, it's over there. I mean, it would have been a little bit easier if the crystals were, you know, cuttable. So that we could potentially then just cut them into big gems. I mean, that would have been... Yes, that would have been quite easy. Yes, it was quite difficult. Really? Congratulations, my friend. Now I can continue my research. These runes are very interesting. I'll put the scrolls in my chest. It's safer. All right. So we gain morale. We gain relation. We gain all these kinds of amazing things. We gain some experience as well. Tell me about the runic book. Yes, these scrolls contain my notes about the runic book. Months and months of work. When reading the autobiography of Prince Noxor, I wanted to have the runic book to study its content. I had the runic book, but it mysteriously disappeared. Where is it? It's a mystery. I had time of trying to make a copy due to you. I will complete my scrolls. I have good news for you. On my part, go see my friend Caloric in Runic Castle. He is the person in charge of the re refectory. Okay. He will let you see a curious person. I'm sure you will be interested. Okay. I'm very pleased. Okay. Yes, I'm sure you are. Yeah, I'm sure, sure you're extremely pleased that I had to do all of that busy work, aren't you? Yes. Okay, so, yes, our relation with Sanctua, Kingdom of Noctifer, yes, okay. Hmm, not bad. Okay, so, this is also a good way to get renown, by the way, because I have not done any fighting with the exception of the tournament, and we already have 161 renown and 12 honor ratings, so that's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to wait here for some time, and we're going to read the treasure map. And there we have it. You have finished reading the treasure maps. You finally understand what this map is all about. Lead the... Let? Lead? Lead? Yes. Let the treasure hunt begin. Read the map from your camp menu. Right. Okay, so nothing has changed on the on the world map. You must first travel to the ca clown. I literally was going to say clown. Of Clutetia. Use your map again when you are near it. Okay, so where is... Where is Clutetia? Oh my. Okay, so we've arrived near the town. Some clues lead you to Cabellio. Use your map again when you are near it. Ah, this is very similar to how Light and Darkness did it. Okay, so I'm, I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Where is Cabellio? Is that not a town? Maybe it's a castle. Ah, no, there it is. It's a village. Right. Okay, so let's go there. Some clues lead you to Cabellio. You are close enough. Y yes, I am close enough. So, do I, do I have to be right on it? Ah, there we go. Some clues lead you to think that the treasure is probably at 25% the distance from Cabellio to Cabellio. <laughs> what? This treasure was a fake. Cancel this hunt. Uh, okay. 20, what? 25? Wait a minute. Hooray, you found the X that marks the spot. Now for some digging. Okay. okay. X spot. Dig for treasure. Look, oh, oh, there you go. We, we, we just got 891 dinars for free. That, well, that's pretty nice. Although it was a little bit clunky, the various mechanics surrounding that. But there we are. Anyway, a small look at Nox RPG. If you want to download this, if you're still watching this, 
then I highly appreciate that. I do very highly appreciate that. Anyway, there is a download link in the description. You can check it out if you so desire. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.